I'm Jaleesa from Sheen Magazine. I wanted to ask what was the most uh, rememberable scene that you actually filmed and the one that you resonated with the most? The both of you guys. All right, Rock, you gotta take this one. I mean, what, was, what was the first part of that question? Uh, well, basically, what was the scene that you filmed that stood out the most in your mind and which one do you, did you resonate with the most? Which scene did you, you know, were you able to really tap in? I'm going first, Sierra? Yeah, go first. We go first. Come on, baby, come on. <laughs> I think, uh, um, when the doctor told Wendy that the, the baby was stillborn, that was that was a heavy day, mm -hmm. you know. Um, just to to live in that and to get that news, and we had to do that take over and over again. Mm -hmm. And it, it, you know, acting is great. Just don't get caught doing it. So when you live in it and you're telling the truth, it it exhausts you. It exhausts you mentally, physically, spiritually, you, it takes, cause you, you know, the brain believes what you tell it. So you're just like my wife, my baby, and you just give me this news. So that, that for me was just, it just, every, you know, we, I don't know how many takes we, cause we had to get our coverage, my coverage, Sierra's coverage, the doctor's coverage. So let's say at least 20 takes on that right there. And, you know, by the end of the night, I think I told my driver, I said, yo, stop at the liquor store. And I grabbed me two bottles of wine and I was just double fisted. I was just like, I just got to sit, sit down, man. It was like, you know, fighting Muhammad Ali for 15 rounds on that. The scene that resonated most for me was um, at the end of the movie, when Wendy takes her power back. I go and visit her in the um, the halfway house, and she just basically just, you know, and I have to listen, and I have to, you know, you have to relinquish the power that he had over her, and she she stood up to me, so that resonated more most to me because inside of any relationship, there's always this power struggle, um, there's this love, and there's this. You know, there's this love, there's this hate, there's this, you know, you know, there's public life and private life and it gets really ugly. And, you know, me and Sierra had to go to some really ugly places and we had to expose our soul in front of, you know, the, the crew and the cast, but now to be, you know, to millions. So it's, it's a very, um, I don't know when you, when, you know, as actors, we, we you know, you're, oh, you're, you're a character, but yeah, but I'm, I'm living in it. So mm -hmm. for me, that scene, uh, that last scene we have together res resonate because I know, you know, when a woman is done, you know, when a woman's done, she's just like, no, it's cool. No, it's all right. Okay. No, 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 it's fine. And you know, it's over. So I knew it was over. You know, and that in that moment, so it resonated. It resonated. Resonated with me. Sorry, um, that scene there. Sierra, your turn. Both of those were powerful scenes, and you definitely did an amazing job. Um, Sierra, same question. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna piggyback off of that. I mean, they were both, um, you know, really just hard, heartfelt, hard scenes. Uh, you know, the one. That one in particular with the day of, uh, you know, with the baby being stillborn. I mean, the, the crazy thing about the whole experience of doing a film and, and doing a TV show is that it's never shot linearly. You know, it's not a linear thing. Like you're not doing page one, you know, on day one and two. And, you know, it's never like that. Like you're going from, okay, now we're doing the party scene to now your baby's being stillborn. Or, you know, now you're, you're, you're in love with your husband, but now you're finding out he's with the mistress, you know? So you're kind of going through this whole like emotional roller coaster and mental manipulation of your body and your mind to kind of switch off and turn on gears to play these different scenes. And so I remember particularly in that day, 
it was just, uh, it was really hard and, and emotionally just taxing, but, you know, I got to say, and, you know, I'm, I'm a person of faith and I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable uh, in this, but I just got to say that, you know, God definitely had his hand on this whole production. And there were just moments where I felt like, you know, so out of my body, but also just so um, supported. And in that scene in particular that Morocco was talking about, find out the baby was stillborn and having to, you know, cry, you know, and, and, you know, hear the news again over and over and over between each take. You know, there's a young woman in the, in the scene, she plays a nurse and I just looked at her and all of a sudden, like, she just looked like my little cousin, Devin, who, you know, is one of the most sweetest angelic people you'll ever meet. And I just was like, all right, God, I see what you're doing right now, you know? And so through all of that, it just, I just felt so supported and, and, you know, it didn't matter how raw the emotions were, you know, I just felt that I was safe and, and taken care of, you know, mentally and emotionally throughout that whole process. Um, so yeah, and, and then, you know, with the other scene that Morocco brought up too, you know, that resonated with me was the last scene, you know, where Wendy stands up. I mean, I've, I don't know, ladies, I mean, I think, I don't know about y'all, but I've had a Kevin in my life. And so that one was, uh, was for the Kevins. <laughs> and so <laughs> I, uh, if, if I had that, that opportunity to say those words to that person, you know, yeah, I would have totally done that, but it was great to be able to be in the shoes of a, of a character and speak those words and, and speak those words from experience. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and from that emotional standpoint, so both of those scenes were. Yeah. You guys did a phenomenal job embodying both characters. So congratulations again, and that's it for me.